Good afternoon. Welcome back from the lunch break. Council, are we ready with uh, this afternoon some witness? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair, we, we are ready to proceed. Uh, I didn't quite hear you because I was busy consulting, but I'd imagine that you're calling the uh, meeting to, to order. So uh, I'd yes, say indeed. we are ready to proceed. If you would want, I would do it again. <laughs> 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 but that's all right. Um, uh, if you're ready with the witness, Please, um, uh, get him in. Okay. Yes, Mr. Chair, we are ready. And uh, Ms. Maria Masingate would lead this witness. Splendid. Thank, Thank you. you. Maria, over to you. Thank you.
Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman. Good afternoon, Commissioners. And good afternoon, all. Good afternoon to you, Mr. Witness. Good afternoon, Ma. As you already know, my name is Mariama Singate. Yes, Ma. And I will be questioning you on behalf of the Commission today. Thank you. You have already been informed that you are adversely mentioned with respect to the unlawful execution of nine death row inmates. Okay. You have decided to voluntarily participate in the TRRC proceedings. Yes, please. And during the course of our meetings with the investigators and myself, you were warned that as a result of you deciding to voluntarily participate yep. in the proceeding, yep. you are required to tell the entire truth. Failure to do so or give false information, mm -hmm. you will be liable for prosecution. Yes. You understand? Yes, please. Can you please draw the microphone closer to you so as to make it easy for you? Yes, please. Thank you very much. Can we start now? Yes, please. I also wish to inform you that you have every right to remain silent and not to incriminate, incriminate yourself as person that is adversely mentioned. Yes, please. However, you deciding to come forward and speak the entire truth, yes, you please. are waiving your right to self-incrimination. Yes, please. And you are required to tell the entire truth. Yes, Do you please. understand? Yes, please. Can you please tell us your names? My name is Lavin Sambu, born in Sinted Village, Fongi Jaron District, West Coast Region. Sorry, Mr. Sambu, you wait for my corrections. Okay, no problem. Then you respond to it. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So can we start? Yes, please. Can you please tell us your names? My name is Lavin Sambu. When and where were you born? Sinted Village, Fongi Jaron District. Can you please give us a brief background of your education from uh, primary? I attended St. John Bosco Primary School. Mr. Sambu, yes, please, please. I'll require that you speak slowly. Okay, no problem. You're speaking really fast, and it's, it will be very difficult for the interpreters to get all that you're saying, and our speeches are overlapping. No problem. So you wait for three seconds before you respond to my question. No problem. Thank you very much. Can you please give us a brief background of your education from primary to secondary? I attended St. John Bosco Primary School, Sintet, and later on forwarded to become a technical senior secondary school. When did you graduate from Birkama Technical Senior Secondary School? 95. After later on, I was there, I, I went to, I had the Gambia police, police, police Force selection. Can I please speak in my language, Maninka, please? If you are most comfortable yes, with that, please. that would be very good. Yeah, that's please, yeah. Okay, that's okay. Can we have the Maninka interpreter? Would you rather start with the questioning in Mandinka, or can we proceed from yeah, let's here? Let's proceed. Yeah, we proceed. Okay. Now that you've chosen <coughs> to speak in the Mandinka language, yes, please. you'll have to wait for the interpreter to interpret in Mandinka, then you respond. You're welcome. Can you proceed from where you stopped? Okay. Can I go? Yes. You said okay. you graduated in 1995. Yes. Thereafter, what did you do? I joined the Gambia Police Force. I joined the Gambia Police Force. Mr. Sambu, remember you have opted to speak in Mandinka. Okay. So you have to wait for the interpreter to no interpret. Sir. No problem. And then you respond in Mandinka. No problem. Thank you. After graduating in 1995, what did you do? I joined the Gambia Police Force. I joined the Gambia Police Force. 
In what year did you join the Gambia Police Force? The Gambia Police Force, Sanjumale. 2004, 2005. Mr. Sambu, remember, you have to wait for the interpreter and then you respond. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Interpreter, can you please interpret? 2004-2005. In between that period, from 95 to 94, what did you do? 2004, sorry. Akou wuche okono, 2004-2005. Yemune kenu, janye dum polis. Mantan wifena? I was not doing anything. I was home. Sorry, Mr. Interpreter, it's from 1995 to 2004. 1995, I was not doing anything. I was home helping my dad. What then made you join the police in, 1990, in 2004? I was not doing anything. I was home helping my dad. What then made I wanted to serve my nation. When you joined the police, how long did your training last? Bili dun ta police do koto. Eya karang ke karang di police do koto la. I would change letter. I coming 2004, 2005. From 2004 to 2005. Number four to five months training. Four to five months training. After the training, where were you posted? Biriela Karango Bang Police, you are Luku Karango. Yes, Samba Minto, the Purka Luko Tamandi. Panifin PIU. Kanifin PIU. Can you tell us what PIU means? Afonian PIU Kotomuni. Police Intervention Unit. What was your role at the PIU? I was in the PIU. 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 I was there as a sentry man. For how long did you remain in your sentry man duty? I was in the PIU. 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 It's not more than two years. What happened? I was removed from there. That of Fatoto? And uh, transferred to Fatoto. What of Fatoto? I left Fatoto. That of YBK? I went to YBK. When you were transferred to Fatoto, what was the nature of your work there? Guard. How about YBK? YBK I was also on guard duties. Can you tell us what the YBK stands for? YBK Yoro beri kunda. Kesniaan makari. Ya bem. Go ahead. Sorry, can you repeat it so that the interpreters will get it? Yoro beri wulen kunda. Yoro beri wulen kunda. Kesniaan makari. Yoro beri wulen kunda. What did you do at this Yoro beri wulen kunda? Kamu ni dua ku fasong ke beri beri Yoro beri wulen kunda tu je. Minta fanya mal lebi je. Kata kata judis lah. Kami guard teng. I was there with my colleagues and we used to conduct our duties. At our patrol, at our Saturday consult, at our daily job. By keeping guard and going on patrol in the night. Can you give us the dates with which you were at these places? For how many people are looking at it? If any dinkral to the water, the men will have for is your water the phone ring. Do you remember when all that? I cannot remember. Thereafter, where were you posted? We call a Samba Minto le Kotake. Kuma ni ndara VIP protection training na. I was called and I went for VIP VIP protection training. How were you selected for this VIP protection training? Ye tombo nyadi le. 
pour que dundi wo karango kono menkita keba kumbanding kantoti it was yem selected just normal selection i was selected just the normal selection how many of you went through this vip protection training atel mo jelle tata wo keba kanta karangula entel mi kuma lina benda kanifi piyu ay plateau mo sile those of what those of us that were called and converged at the Kanifing PIU we are we were up to a platoon there will be about 30 something right yeah. yes and yeah. where was this vip training nyin karango fango aliyake ten pour que nyin alpha kanto ke aliyake akarango ke mi ah ni mo nyina ngake kanifing if i did not forget it was in kanifing Can you tell us what this VIP training entailed? Afonye nyin VIP karang wolem ka kewe ka alfa lukanda akarango mun ku fason nu le ka keje. Nyin is just akada coming ko e ka lundan ku ma nyin ka protect. It's all about protecting important personalities. When was this VIP training? Nyin karang diro akata wati jumale. Anta remember no la date ni na? I cannot recall. Remember the date? Was there an incident that prompted this VIP training? For kule keta bang me ya sabu inate dundi ning karandiro kono purka alpha kanda. Ah, wutu mo AU kana start AU summit ning? Yes, at the time the AU summit was about to be hosted here. For how long did you attend this VIP training? Alanyin karang VIP training ay wuce jelleta. Ni manyina man tambi lokum fula fulo kon sabala. If I don't forget it's not more than 2 to 3 weeks. Where were you posted after this VIP training? During wo karang okata banta ye samba do kola min tole. Nata to kanifin PIU. I stayed at the kanifin PIU. You mentioned that the AU summit was about to take place in the Gambia and yeah. that was why you were trained. Yenyum fok mhm. Yenyum fok otumo AU la bemba kana ke Gambia jang. Eh walanna al tata nyin alfa kan takaramola. Did you participate in safeguarding the VIPs at that time? Silandung inata na taramulu kono le ba men kitaw alfa kan ta lal tiban. Ade ndola binu airport oto. Yes. Most two weeks. We were the ones at the airport for almost two weeks. After that two weeks, where were you posted? I returned back to the Kanifing PIU. Did you remain at the Kanifing PIU? Silang enata tutu la Kanifing PIU lebang. Enata tutu Kanifing PIU. Yes, I remained at the Kanifing PIU. Were you posted at any other place after that? Je kola fo inate la do ko soundi do la dol to bay sita do ko kedam. Ah. Yes. Can you please tell us about it? Wo fo nyem bang inata na ta dam do ko. Ndato oddly ya la IGP's office. I went to become an oldie oddly at the IGP's office. Who was the IGP at that time? The malam IGP ti wo tumo. I ngabu musambu la philosoph. I first sometime. served musambu for some time and how did you remain an oddly at the igp's place saying for inata to nyadi lewo ay oddly yala igp la dinkrado menu nje fo nya fo sanji dantan yembondi ye kabriata bondi yembondi ye i was there for so, for some years and when he was being removed i was also removed When you were removed where were you taken next? Biriye bondi woto na te samba min dole ko dake. Moto nan kanifin PIU. I returned back to the Kanifin PIU. Did they give you another assignment? Fo o kola inata do ku fason do di lele bang. Moto ko dake kabirin eh Benjamin nata je nga je nata Benjamin Saf again. So I returned back to the office of the IGP when Benjamin came to serve him also as an orderly. Can you tell us what year that was? 
foi aquilo se bula o falança ou não lá leva o sangue aquele sangue mesmo actually ainda remember não right now I cannot remember it now what services did you render then o tempo e mundo o que façam no leque e como mundo o que façam no leque ala ofício do qual cai a ninguém cá porta que cá bochou quando cá tá ofício do cá cá bonito ofício do cá são bochou quando I I do some of his office work for him and also to protect him from his house to the office and from the office back to his house. For how long did you maintain the job of being an orderly? Ye wu che jel le ke wo do ko la ka ke orderly te. Mete la ka bim bodje ka bim musa mbo bodje ka bim ben jamme bodje na do continue ni Jesus ke da ni Jesus fana saf. It's for a long time because when Ben was taken out I continued with Jesus to serve him. Did your job description eventually change? Ila do ko la nya fo nya tonto anata falin ne bang. Ah kabri Jesus bondi odli alam nsi ta bakto kan even piyu. So when they remove uh, Jesus I was uh, taken back to the kan kan even piyu. Can you please tell us the full name of this Jesus you referring to? Ik ik Jesus men for ten a to fo fo nya bang. Ensabaji. Ensabaji. When you were returned back at the PIU, did your job description change as an orderly? Sain bri muruta kota ke kata PIU ila orderly ya adoko nyum fa falin daliba. Ah nata falin? Yes, it changed. Can you please tell us about it? O keta nyame nga wo fonye bang. Nyata wati dandon soto kanifing. Later after some time in kanifing. Ah bi ye mol ko mandi ko mili VIP protection ke. I was there then they called uh, us those of us that had some VIP training in that commandi walto that was where I was called e baye commandi lamin baye lamin baye too was called and momodo aibuso fana commandi and uh, momodo aibuso was also called na den commissioner member PIU our den commissioner at the PIU birambai birambai akumule dan ko interior minister la he said that we should report to the interior minister answer to him for the minister office We got to the minister's office. I must brief that coming to transfer to state house. He briefed us that we were to be transferred to the state house. I must refer police headquarters. He referred us to the police headquarters. Coming from the police headquarters. When we got to the police headquarters, who was the interior minister at that time? Usman Songo. Kujimalam, Kujimalam, interior minister to Otumo. Usman Songo. Usman Songo. At the time he informed you that you are to be transferred to the state house. Did he inform you what you are supposed to do there? What o men akoye ibe sambala state house. Fire foi le bang ibita do ku fason men na state house. Ani ama fo nyi because utumo? No, he did not tell us because at that time mul ko transfer ko ta state house. People used to be transferred to the state house. You mentioned that 32 more than 32 people participated in the VIP course. Then you for commence at mo tanza banim fulati wolle tata nyin alfa kan dakara ngoke. And only three of you were chosen to be transferred to the state house. And in ata tel mo sabada man ne ta pour kali sound kata state house. Do you know why the three of you were selected to be transferred to the state house? Fo ya dalilo lon ne munan na ya tel mo sabada man tombo pour kali samba state house. Ani ma dalilo lon. No, I don't know the reason. Can you recall the year this happened? Foi hakilo sibula sangom men nyin keta foi so sangolon no leba. Ni manyina 2010 or 2012. If I don't forget, it's either 2010 or 2012. As at this time, how long have you served as a police officer or parliamentary officer go be kala wato men itela mira road wa yatara yesanji jelle do ko mo me ke bridu nta police do ko do am na 6 years of jelle i think i had served 6 years or 7 years ago or 7 years what was your rank at that time wo tembo mo makama le bebulu ila rank mo menti sa jino le menti wuto mo i was a sergeant at the time So you were asked to report 
to the police headquarters. Can you tell us what happened when you got there? Kuyete dangum police kora bato. Brief na taji mune nata ke. Nata ta police headquarters personnel. We went to the police headquarters personnel. Imol la kairo tupoto na file ul kasa mbasti raus. And they prepared our files to take them to the state house. As at this point, were you transferred to were you supposed to be transferred to state house as police officers, or were you transferred to state house as part to be to be joined as a military officers? We are sound in the moment that we are state house. We are sound in the morning when we can call the police. We are bang. We are sound in the morning when we can call the police. We are all doing local duty. They took us there so that we could become soldiers. In between the time when you reported to the police headquarters and you were told that you would be transferred to the state house, how long did it take for you to actually be transferred to the state house? We what we mean in sound rock come for you. And in what we mean in at sound, ya mera we what je leta. Um, because the cabin reporter came in the ground, because we got ground water sentries up and down, up and down for a little. When we reported, we were on the ground performing sentry duties until later. You had received training as a police officer. As at the time when you were told that you be transferred to the military, did you receive any training? Ia kerang oke leh dek polis ya doku beri berdun na polis. Baru silam beri na tanya insa undiru fu koi bita ibe ali dun di la sojari ato. Fu ina tali kerang di kula lewo sojari ala karola bang. Angkai? Yes. Jadi dama I was selected for support weapon course. On my own I was selected for support weapon course. It was the three of you that were selected to join the military, right? Yeah. Yes. You're telling us that out of the three, you alone were selected to be trained on the support weapon course. Yes. Where did you receive this training? Yo karango ke minto le. Was ni ajo ngonde inta damala select new mall kono. Baju baju ben military police le. Military police ya attach military police. If you see why I told you that I was the only one selected for this course because Baji was with with the military police. Buso benu driving side. And Buso was on the driving side. Intelebo on the ground. I was the one on the ground. Can you tell us what you mean exactly by you were the one on the ground? Niko itele be je on the ground wala mnyenti itele be du maje wo koto mu muneti comme in tele bak in tele bak infantry dan tele bak ground also niko du go up and down sentries kata kana kata kan kabiba selection ok kan comme mol select from the state of personnel nata lok in tarde ko mol kono je ut mo lamin sane was the then commander that by that i meant that i was like performing the role of an infantry Doing the normal sentry guards, and at that time, Lamin Sane was the commander. As at this time, who were you reporting directly to? I go to Mbo. It's a case. It's a case. Don't go to Malala. It's a case. Balu Kolo. Lamin Sane was the commander. Lamin Sane was the commander. Can you tell us about this support weapon training you went through? It's a thing in Kela Jorang Karango Men Nateng. These are these big guns, uh, the sophisticated weapons, and we did this course in Kanilai under General Tamba. As at that time, what position did General Tamba have. What Tembo, General Tamba, be Palace Jumaldo. I've been in the State House, He was at the State House. 
Which General Tamba are you referring to? Ibe General Tamba Jumalema. Ansumana Tamba. Ansumana Tamba. Were you the only personnel that received this support weapon training? Ite drone ne moti men ye nying kile joran karamu keban. Asiada moja malem asiada. It was many people. Can you recall some of the people that you trained with? Foi hakilo sibula mulo lale ini men yo kile joran karamu kenyola. I cannot remember. I don't remember now. I cannot remember now. Can you recall what outfit those people came from, whether they were from the state, state guards or other units? Fue hakilo sibula le bang. Wo molo ini men ye karaun kenyola. Ibota bunda jumale la sojare la karole. Ibota state guards le. Fue ibota bunda jumale to. Obi ibota state house le. All of them came from the state house. As at this time, you've told us that Busso was with the drivers mm -hmm. and Baji was with the military police. Yes. When you were co-opted into the state guards, were you given an option of where you would be or were you just put in those places? I was Baji eh otarta military police sai ita fana mbri be dundila ye nyim foy ne pro ke nyini kay tebe la fel tarla fanna jumale la foy eta tala ndro ko ete ki jam signal message la nar ya bondi part 1 order mo e ngaje wolto a signal message message came from part 1 orders and that was where i saw it apart from the support weapons training did you receive any other training wo kele joran jawlu karango kola fo inata kudo fanan karan ne ba men wo kele joran la karango tekel ha wala wo tin ne ante wanti ngo ko fanan ke steros le roughly 1 week to 2 weeks yes it's also this the course of the t91 which we did at the state house which ran from between 1 and 2 weeks can you tell us what the t91 was a fonyi munum t91 ya korom mun ni it is a gun. Kido la yin kidi kanya ndengo lenteng. Just for centuries. Sizable gun used for centuries. How long did you do that training? Yo karang ke wuche jeli. Man tamil lokum falala. It was not more than two weeks. Can you recall what year it was at this point? Fo hakilo sibula o falang akata sangomeng. Imani na 2011, 2012. If I actually did not forget, it's between 2011 and 2012. You've already told us that you did the support weapon training, and you've also done the T91 training. Did you do a subsequent training? Inyumfanyango, ye kile joran karangoke. Anim fanang inata nying keran lawang mengketeng. For ye keran do fanang kelebang menungol tekelindi. Hadi. Yes. Can you please tell us about it? Fem fanyo ila o keran fasong fanang tu bang. Yang bondi yang tada VIP protection ona in kanilai. They took us. They took me away there from there and transferred me to kanilai for bodyguard protection. For this other course, were you the only one that was chosen among the people you, you went with? Were you the only one that was chosen for this VIP course? In VIP Alpha Karamu, yeah, we are almost about to start. For yet the demand for that talk, I don't do Karamu la silo la bang. For any dollar. Hani, the budget, la min budget budget, buso budget. No, I was there. La min budget was there, and buso was also there. When did this training occur? Nying karango akita sanjumalo. I'm around 2013, mafong. I think it's around 2013. Can you please tell us what this VIP training, as you call it, entailed? Malum fesa fono nying nying alpha kanta karango. Uh, I do cool from a moon cool for some name, Munabacono. 
Okay, would more Lamin Sane and Mulki Kanilai for this VIP protection? At that time, it was Lamin Sane that sent us to Kanilai for this VIP protection. In American all? With the Americans. I'm going to be here two weeks. I think we were there for two weeks. Ah. Iba presiden sama dengan kami, anda iba nak dengan kami. Ning kerat pun ambak kiri iba presiden mahu dengan kami untuk protect. It was about how to take the president out and to bring him in, and also where there was a crowd, how to protect the president from the crowd. How many people participated in the training? Mujer lema beta okarangoto. Nama pelatu muasilat. I think it's up to a pelatu. During the course of this training, did you have cause to go for any mission? Wakarongo wichi okono, wala udoko wichi okono. Fwe sila soto le bampuri kata kudo tama. Hadi. Yes. Can you please tell us about it? Wafana mume mti wafonye mbang. Menu training na Rambo na Rayamol kumandi. While we were on training, Rambo came and called us. Akumole ko mission alba banyun. And he said to us, there was a mission in Banjul that we should prepare a little bit later, we should come and join him in the vehicle. At this point, apart from your colleagues that were co-opted into the state guards, who else, who else participated in this training? Can you recall some of the names of the people that participated in the training? Four, I need to learn the language. Okay, first of all, you do the two phone in your bank. Imagine a course, course, senior course. Woman, major. He was a major, major judge. If I don't forget, our senior course instructor was major judge. What was the first name? Ato follow him. No matter how long. I don't know his first name. Does the name? Major Momodi Jaju sound familiar? For um, Major Momodi Jaju to is Hakilo Sibula. Nimanya na Babukar lem Babukar Jaju ba headquarters. If I don't forget, is Babukar Jaju is at the headquarters. We have another name apart from Major Babukar Jaju. Was he called an, by any nickname? For Todo Balaleka Kumandi to men na menu Major Babukar Jaju to. Nimanya na Steven. If I don't forget, it's Steven. Is this person different from the Rambo you referred to? For Ninning Rambo Mayafo, for Ifata Taliban, Fata Mokilolo. Amanga Ramboti. It's not Rambo. Can you please give me some of the names of the people that participated in this training? Molum Menu Mabeta or Karango to Quete Mabeta Yaming. First, you look to the phone. Some may remember Mono Valente. Those that I can remember are myself. I can remember Busso. I can remember Busso. Mejo Rambo Jaju. Mejo Rambo Jaju. Suleiman Sambu. Suleiman Sambu. Fansunyabali. Fansunyabali. Ah, maybe I just just I can so remember not follow. These are the only ones I can remember for now. How about Amadou Baji? If I did not forget, he was also there. Pa Usman Sane was he there? Pa Usman Sane, Fafanam Bijele. If I do not forget, he too was there. How about Malik Manga? Malik Manga. Malik Ma remember? I cannot remember Malik Manga. How about Michael Correa? Michael Correa. Ma remember no? I cannot remember him. Michael Jata. Michael Jata. No, I remember no. I can't remember. What of Omar Oya Jalo? For Omar Oya Jalo, for now, he is cooling the cold. How much will cost him? He was not. He didn't take part in that course. These people that you named earlier, Sleiman Sambu, Mfansu Nyabali, and Major Rambo Jaju. Were they part of the state guards? Many more men follow to all for things. Suleiman Sambu, Rambo, and in yellow milieu to all. Full from all the state guards like on the bank. The state house, le? They were at the state house. Did they have a particular name they were called by? 
fo ye to dole soto ke kumandi men na ba wotumo rambo nga rambo to lolong rambo i will you rambo name i'm sorry let me rephrase the question kombata ya fo nya do nyama as a group did they have a particular name they were referred to e be ka fur mo nyoma group o nyim fo ka group o kumandi tole la ba ye group o to la men na anke mo le wotumo ka fo patrol team yes i hear they were called the patrol team Was there any other name apart from the patrol team? Patrol team to kola photo fanando ti je bay ke kumandi menna. Ko dul fanam ga fo e junglers. I hear others also call them junglers. You've mentioned that you were asked to join the state guards, right? Ye nyim foko ye nyin le foye ko eta ka fo state guards ma photo nya. Hadi. Yes. Lamin Baji testified before the commission. Lamin Baji said there are a commission on yatilu mula janne. He told the commission that you, uh -huh. Uso and himself, yeah, I knew for commission ko ite ate fango anim Uso were asked to join the patrol team. You know for a purita kafu patrol team kafu moluma. What do you have to say about that? Olen to nyati. That is the truth. So in fact you were not asked to join the state guards per se you were asked to join the patrol team Amunta e ma fo en ka fo ko yeta ka fo state guards ma bari en ne fo ko yeta dum patrol team ka fo moluma Ah uh, fonnga explain as I understand let, let me explain so you could understand You can do that Oh for okay Kabirin transfer to the state guard When we were transferred to the state guard That a general baji direct We went direct to general baji When we met, when we met General Baji at the glass house, when we met, when we met General Baji at the glass house, more than that, I will form only. He said a few things. I mean, form only. What he said to us was this: uh, Right now, President Al Al Samad and Purali are the patrol team. But right now, it was the president that brought us to be members of the patrol team. Ah, uh, but I tell him, Miroto. But in his own mind, I tell the ground order following. I tell the state. State guard personnel look on need to go follow. We should be on the ground and mingle within the state guards with the state guard personnel. Because sign the new combo join the patrol team, or no? Because right now, if we said that we are we were going to join the patrol team, already say two boti nyari mbawa kile. Because at that time their name was already solid. So we must like only report to the commander, then commander Lamin Sane. That was at the time that he said that we should report to the then commander Lamin Sane. You said General Baji told you that the patrol team's name was spoiled at that time. Because exactly. General Baji in a funko patrol team to I talk we at a back of tempo. What did you understand by what he meant by the patrol team's name was spoiled at that time? Na ko patrol team to kuyata le wotumo. I tell a mirror road to koto mumuniti. I wo at low understand kabra ko mofo. Well he is the one that uh, understands the that statement. After your meeting with General Baji. Renim General Baji la bengo botala. Did you get to meet with the patrol team? Fo ining patrol team ka fo mol na ta nyoje la bang. Hadi? Yes. Buso yen kumandi? Buso called me. And ta fo nyi komi ko nyenta no meet la at Kololi. He said to me that uh, we had to meet Nua in Kololi. Fo nga Baji ko Lamin Baji call? So I also called Lamin Baji. I said to him, they, they said that you should come so that we could go and answer to Banua in Kololi. Yes, that's what I said. Who was Banua? Banua was the one that was in the patrol team. Who was Banua at this point? And can you please give us his full name and his position? Jumalem Banua at your tembo ato mu me obe fonyeng aning abe palas Jumal tootu. At lem patrol patrol team lo commander tiye. He was the patrol team commander. Mejo Nua Baji. Mejo Nua Baji. Can you please tell us what happened when you went to meet him? Eh, beri data pur kaji. Afan yang mana kita bang? Kami pun pernah restoran itu. When we got to the restaurant, nganua nganua eh nganyi nengka. We asked Nua. Afan data nampak tak? We asked for Nua and he came outside. Untuk makafi madu bersih yang kono tak? At that time, there were some of his colleagues seated inside. But what more be prepared? Dressed fully. But at that time, they were all fully dressed. Ngetarje. We found them there. Noa finished the number. Noa came outside. 
restaurant no bunda to at the entrance to the restaurant adi amu ton tol mo sabo ye he spoke to the three of us kay tan dem molla nyanta join na patrol team la kono that we are supposed to join the patrol team rani ra yira ko mi go say ko to join la patrol team kon directly but you also said, told us that we will not be joining the patrol team directly he been used as intelligence officers but we are going to be used as intelligence officers sate kono inside the the the, the town ni president batambikan when the president is uh, passing by convoy through with this convoy nata siloko nga siloko ngibe we should go along the highway and observe the highway yeah and what were you supposed to do around the highway did he tell you what you're supposed to do ako al nyanta mulekela nungo silaba kan faya fali en al nyanta men kala jedu combo siloko ngibe la that we should be observing the highway for the safety of the vip to pass for the safety of the vip to pass you would recall that when we met yakino sibula nyina wato mem benta you had told me yenina fonye that go major nua major nua had asked you ayenininka to serve as spies for him pro iseke moti men seke kulo yata ke report whatever was happening around and ko kundi nabe keri niya ke kibaro di yalla folon to nyati that is the truth at that point akotembo did you know the work that the patrol team was involved in foya lo no to mo patrol team ka mundo ku fason nake utu mo ngalo ne ikata border patrol la at that time yes i knew they used to go on border patrols mrs sambo you had already served for 6 years as a security officer mr sambo yes and you were kale fuka pare ka ke kantola bum dokula nyaton ko and mind you when you reported to general sol baji ba bitu hakilo to biri tate dan ku general sol baji la he had told you that the patrol's name team's name was point ay nyim fo en ko patrol team to ku yatal it was already 2013 at this point au tembo de 2013 au tembo belto and there were several rumors as to the work of the patrol team also known as junglers and do to mongunu ngunu jamal le kafinti patrol team la do ko momenti ka menke and ka fo menu fana len ko junglers rumors that even some civilians were aware of kumbo ngunu ngunu kumo lu men yalo hani civilian lu fanga lu jamaa bota kalama so at the time you were asked to join the patrol team bato men bitung ko ete ka fo patrol team please do answer truthfully isa kata ye jabiro ke to nya kan do you know the kind of work the patrol team was involved in ya lo ne utumo patrol team kamun do ko fason ne ke utumo bang ande sami fo no patrol team la wod ngemi loy la ko to utumo kata bo de patrol de de ko convoy form e kata e kana what i can say about the patrol team at the time is that they used to go on border patrols they used to uh, form convoys go and come back ngolo le ko to le andi ke yele nga moy le fana e ko ko arresting ke ani order things bare nena maaje i also hear that they conducted arrest and other things but i have never seen that myself what were the other things that you heard they were accused of ye mun ku ko tenu le moy e ka nyilu to ku ya men nam o molo ka moy le ko ko mo fa bare nena maaje i hear that they kill people but i have never seen that and at the time you reported to general sol baji wato me tate dan ko general sol baji la he told you that their names were spoilt ay nyim fo en ko nyilu toti nyatalde and you already have had rumors and wo yatare te fango yo ngunu ngunu kuma lu moy ila koto regarding the patrol team men kata nyim patrol team ka fo mol what did you make out of the group that you were asked to join sayin yo ka fo mol ye la ko je nyaadi le ko eta dum ka fo men ko abrin tata nga no tata no kololi ana rafa mole ko be de be use la comme intelligence officers when we went and uh, met noah in kololi he told us that we were going to be used abin na e kamina la discussion no banta but uh, when the this, our discussions concluded na ra yita ni buso ko i came to tell buso that nga ko yalla ni min be kering i said to him do you know what is happening go ko nyulli kan to jelo comme ko wi ndama police leti 
you see these people, they, they see us, they look at us as Ma if we are police officers. E and they do not want us to join them. Secondly, also maybe we are Miracle spies against them. And secondly, perhaps they think we are spying spying them. I told him, you see, since they gave this created a distance between us and them, this is what is good for us. I said it to him twice. This is good for us. Let's go home and sit down. As at this time, why did you think that was your peace? Because I hear that they used to arrest people. I hear that they also kill people, which I have not seen. So we were going to join them. So if they tell us to go as intelligence officers, I said to him, then this is what is the, the best for us. When you were a police officer, how much was your salary? Did you have a constable? Is it when I was a constable? At the time before you were transferred to the patrol team. That time I was a sergeant. Or did you have a salary? That time I was a sergeant. How much was your salary? Yes. I think it's about, it was about 3,000. How much was your salary? 3,000. As at the time you were moved to join the patrol team. How much were you paid? How much were you paid? How much How much were you paid? Same thing. Same thing. How much were you paid? You were paid the same salary as that of a police officer. That's what you are telling us. Okay. Yes. 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 With the exception of my allowance, which was adjusted a little bit. And how much was the adjustment? You see, the police allowance is different from the military allowance. Their ranks are not the same. Was it substantially higher than that of the police allowance? Following we move me to see about the police allowance on in Tilebang. At the police allowance on yesterday morning. Yes, it's a little bit uh, 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 bigger than the allowance for the police. You told us that you were asked to work as an intelligence officer. Did you? 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 Did did you carry out the work of an intelligence officer for the patrol team? Patrol team toyala fodung inata okullo kibar doko le kijebang intelligence doko. Hadi? Yes. Can you tell us the nature of that work please? Wo doko mun mun ni mune ba kono e kawo kenyadi le. What do you know about the president of the country? Sometimes Noah would call us to tell us that the president was going to Kanelai. Ngatara si lokang? We are always on the highway. Sometimes, Kabirin Somanda for Janaba Tambila. Sometimes, since morning up till the time that he will pass. Sometimes, the car for Dendim Birikinga, but Dendim Birikinga are for almost, how to call it, almost Farato. Sometimes, I go to Dendim Birik and I move all the way to Farato. Kaji before on normal things, but she look on a fatty. To observe if I could see anything abnormal, abnormal happening. Then I return and. Either report that to uh, Buso or to Noah. What will be those abnormal things that you will observe and report back to Noah? Just uh, for instance, enemies on the highway. And who would you refer to as enemies here? Just like anyone who will come to try to stop the president's convoy or even to interrupt it. 
Remember during our meeting, you had mentioned that you were asked to listen yeah. to the conversations of people all around yeah. and report back to Major Nua if those conversations were said against the president. Am I correct? Adi? Adi? Yes. Did you in fact carry out this job? against the president this is what I am telling you, just to be mindful. If you hear anything that is said against the president or something that will retard the progress of the country, you come back and report to Noah. That's what I'm asking right now. Did you make any reports of such nature to Major Noah? No. You were given a job to do. Yes. And you were also placed at strategic locations for those. Yes. And you did not go back to report on anything. Why? Because I have not heard, neither have I seen. Okay, we'll move on. You had told us that while you were training, you were asked to go on a mission by Major Rambo. Major Rambo nata fupuru alie uli alieta doku doke. Can you tell us about that? Oh, doku femfonye ngoto bang. Ma kanila ile? We were in kanila eh? Major Nwa nata kumoli, Major Rambo nata kumoli ku mission alba banjun? Major Rambo came and said to us that there was a mission in banjul. So that we should be prepared in the evening. We bought vehicles to go to Banjul. As at this point, did they tell you what the mission was about? From that time, we were not told what the mission was about. Did they tell you what to do to prepare for this mission? No. How many of you were told about this mission? What I can, what I know, I was there. Buso was there. Lamin Baji was there. Mpansu Nyawali was there. Mpansu Nyawali was there. Mejo Rambo Bije. Mejo Rambo was there. Any others in the meeting? How close? In the meeting, the meeting manola. And others that I can now recall now. Did they tell you where this mission was taking place? For ya, for alien, alibita odo ko kela dami. Bingo boja ko mission of Banjul. When we were living there, he said the mission was in Banjul. Can you tell us the year and the date? Of this mission. For wo altera udu kola aketera sangon men aning lungo men fai hakilo si bula no wola leba. Number twenty thirteen number I cannot remember the date. I think it is twenty thirteen, but I cannot remember the date. How were you dressed for this mission? Ali emu fem fason nule dum fiato fato la karola purka ipare o silo kama. Then in a civil clothes letter. I went dressed in my civil clothes. How about the others that you were with? I can remember they also went in their civil clothes.
Did you have any weapons with you in preparation of this mit- for this mission? Tolum jorangulu bali bulle bang al be pare kan tumo mena pour kata wodo ko wala. Nde wutumo kiro tem bulu. Personally at the time I did not have any weapon. As at the point you were moving from Kanilai towards Banjul, who were you in the same vehicle with? Watu men albe bola Kanilai kay tilim Banjul la ini njuma nyol be moto kono. Muslimal sambula jipol kono. We were inside Suleiman Sambo's jeep. How many of you were in this jeep? Almo jelle be jeep o kono. Ni manyi na mo saba. If I don't forget, we are three. Can you please name the people that were in the jeep? Ese afono ke tolu fo in men be jeep o kono. Nte bi ye? I was there. Nyabali bi ye? Nyabali was there. Ni Suleiman Sambo. And Suleiman Sambo. Please tell us about the journey. Al tanya al wisilo kan wo Allah tanya fo nyamba. Mi da kan fo won fo da birkama ma fo ja oil ma fo. We went until Birkama around the ja oil. In solo bentaje. We met with solo there. Def nan solo bojang. Def nan kon solo bojang. Def nan kon solo bojang. Ndol lota. We stopped. Ata fana lota. He also stopped. Rambo jita. Rambo alighted. And is uh, solo body amka. And he was speaking with solo. Solo ka nganale. Solo said to him I'm coming. So ndol tente na dara banjul. So we proceeded to banjul. Dara fo mfrata Hamza Barracks. We went until we reached the Hamza Mulori, Barracks. Mulori Hamza Barracks. We stood at the Hamza Hamza Barracks. Koko oya la batu jallo. They said that we were waiting for Oya Jallo. Oya finita na banda. And Oya came outside. Ameto do monike bugo sa al telephone soto balia. It took a long time, some time, because of he lacked a telephone. So mbiye wolto. So we were there. Ngarambo moto kono. At the time, I was inside the vehicle. Ngarambo mo communication ala. I heard Rambo communicating. Kafu. And he was saying. Keba ko former president ko. The 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 big man, the former president said. Ako for bi pe execution ose kerek. That today the execution must take place. Anga ma bafuka ko general Baji lafka cancela bulu. I hear him say that General Baji wanted to cancel it. But I don't know for execution was be. But he insisted that the executions must be carried out that day. Udla la nata lo mimbe kering. That was at that moment I came to know what was happening. What was the distance between you and Rambo when he was communicating on the phone? Rambo be o dia mo la tu me na telephone to itena temo keno me mbal tema isa phone o abe nyadi la jam fata jola ba ne pa pick up o koma i was behind in the pick up man tambi even 3 meters or 4 meters it was not even more than 3 or 4 meters rambo mo communication ola and i heard rambo communicating remember you told us that you rode in a jeep ah ya kilo si bula nyina ko yenyum fo nyen ko al bulata jeep ole ko ha kabim fura ta jana mo motol falina sulemana moto to tajele moto do na tana jeep eh pick up yes but when we arrived there we changed vehicles michael michael jata la pick up ko no and so michael we we changed vehicles and michael la wo borandi ka and join michael's pick up because he was, one, he was the one driving it so i masiri masiri ko mo moto bolori so i sat behind while the, the vehicle was stationed do you know Who Rambo was having that com- communication with? Yeah, lon Rambo ni njumale be odiamo la no motumo. Odiamo ko ngame ani general Baji la odiamo ka. That communication I think was with General Baji. At this point. In tempo. Were you apart from the conversation you heard? Ana man ke ko yew diamo mem moy. Were you later briefed about your mission? Fo albita do ko men na ina tak kuma fali en ne do ko to ban. Ni manyi na solo na taje. If I did not forget, solo came there. Ba itan dem mola. To tell us that ni man state mission ti. But this was a state mission. Ke bal ko execution ay na take place le bi. But the big man said the execution was to take place. Wala ni de duale mi muta kefa. And these were the death row inmates. President ko 
that the president gave those, those instructions. Did they tell you the preparations you are supposed to make for this particular mission? For your family, for your family, I will be in a parental home in Kenya. For a little bit of in Kenya for for Kanali. Can you mention Kalamudo Water? No, I do not know anything on that. At this point, you've already told us that you were joined by Omar Oya Jalo. And you also mentioned several names, I will repeat, and I'll ask if the, those people were present during this briefing. Buso, was he present? Yes. Lamin Baji, was he present? Lamin Baji. Yes. Nyabali, was he present? Yes. Suleiman Sambu, was he present? Suleiman yes. Sambu, Yes. You were also present? Yes. With Omar Oya Jalo. Omar was there later. He and came. Omar Oya Jalo. Mm -hmm. Did anyone else join you that I have not named? Akofo, Modo Nata Kafuale Malibang, Mamento. Adol Nata Kafuale Barante Mondolije? Yes, others joined us, but I did not see them. At this point, you already know what you were supposed to do. Nintembeng, we are talking Aliya Long Alijanta Menkela. Correct. Hadi. Yes. Did Did they give you any weapons or anything in preparation for what you were supposed to do? Yo, what am I doing? For a joran dia la bangwala si fendia la purka li parende alibita duoko mena alibake la joran mena for yo dia la leba. Eman kiri dina Suleiman Sambula nara nang ay sumbia dina. They did not give give me any gun. It was uh, Suleiman Sambu who came and gave me uh, a, a, a hat a covering hat. my whole head and face. How did you feel knowing that you are supposed to execute people? Because that's what you were told at this point. How did you feel? Ako, why are you in ya fali yonko? Alkata mufala. Say, ite fangona ta uta nyadile, yaje nyadile. That day, it's only God knows the way I was feeling. Because I was shocked at that spot. I went up to the inside of mile two, but I did not alight from the vehicle. Your journey to mile two. Allah tamu kata Allah silo kata mile two. Can you tell us how many vehicles there were? I found your motor jelly be nyono makata mile two or two there were many vehicles. I cannot say how many they were. All the personnel that you have mentioned, did they go with you to mile two? Yes, you know, we were to for ten. For in your world, let us know that mile two. Ni mani na mobi vijere. If I do not forget, everyone was there. You mentioned that you were in Michael Correa's truck. Michael Jata. Michael Jata, sorry. Michael Jata struck. Pick up. Pick up. How many of you were in the pickup? Michael Jata la pick up le kono. Michael Jata bie. Michael Jata was there. Fansu Nyabali bie. Fansu Nyabali was there. Ndefon bie. I was there. Buso bie. Buso was there. Who was driving the car? Michael Jata. Michael Jata. So tell us what happened when you arrived at mile two. When we got to mile two, we found many people because it was at night. And we were told to stay there for the night. We were told to stay there for the night. We were told to stay there for the night. We were told to stay there for the night. We were told to stay there for the night. We were told to stay there for the night. We were told to stay there for the night. We were told to stay there for the night. We were told to stay there for the night. We were told to stay there for the night. We were told to stay there for the night. Many other people whom I could not recognize because of the darkness. Because in Yamfote Jelamba, she didn't pick up or come. Because I was far away from them, I was seated in the pickup. The pickup itself. What motor found? Did it have 
tinted glasses or were their glasses bare? Moto ni na werolu, were fingulu be moto men na lomba mfudung ala werolu be senyari. Moto yero bebe findi na. With tinted glasses. You said you were seated behind. What do you mean by behind? Was it in the passenger seat or? Ako ni kwa be siring koma. Ibe siring pasia sidula alto koma ba mfudung ibe keso le kono koma. I was seated inside in the passenger seat. When you arrived at mile two, you've already told us that you saw the Minister of Interior and several other persons whom you can't recall. Can you tell us what happened? Interior. I saw many people by the gate of the, 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 the main wing and they were bringing out the prisoners one at a time and they were having papers the prisoners were escorting them outside their hands were cuffed their feet were shackled and they were being held in the police station during the course of your briefing in which they tell you you are going to execute Inmates. Did they show you any legal paper? To, to state that these people are to be executed. authorities they did not show us any papers, but the authorities that were there, those are the ones that can say whether they had any paper or not. We have received information from some witnesses that the Minister of Justice was present there. I heard that, but I did not see him. Can you tell us about when the prisoners were brought out? When they were brought outside, they were boarded on some vehicles. Some came to our vehicle. Those ones were escorted by Mfansu Nyabali. Mfansu Nyabali la dundi tukon ndejita. I alighted. Inmate dundi motoko no. Put in the inmate. Nsita abala. I sat behind the inmate. Buso sita wa side ola. And buso sat on the other side of the inmate. At this point when you were asked to go on a mission to execute inmates. Nintembeng. Did you have any prior training on the execution of inmates? I have never heard it. I have never seen it. I have never done it. Were you informed as to how these inmates are supposed to be executed. Authority told you alone because Nalone is already well planned. But those in authority they knew because I know that this was already planned. Were you informed in fact as to how they are supposed to be executed. Honey. No. You mentioned that Nyabali brought the inmate to your vehicle. Yes. At this point, you said you did not get down from your vehicle. You said you did not get down but when the inmate came, I came out came the vehicle, the inmate entered and then I sat next to the inmate. Where was Buso 
Buso at Benu, this point. Buso Benu was sitting on the other side. Buso was seated at the other side. Apart from you, Buso, and Michael, did you have any other person in that vehicle? Detaining Buso, Kola, and Michael, for more do be or motor conalaba. Nyabala was sitting in Yato. Nyabali was seated in front. Why did you have to put the inmate in the middle? That was for the inmate security, so that it, the inmate does not fall off from uh, through the door. Sorry, can you please uh, clarify that? In middle of Saturn of Timale, prior comfort a will be also comfortable because it has general Bundabala woman safe. The inmate can be put in the middle so that those that are protecting the inmate are comfortable. You cannot put the inmate close to the door. Can you please describe the condition in which the inmates were in when? or the one that entered your car, the condition that, is it a he or she, please, that the person was brought to your car? Akoye menati atella omotoro. Amarila hadamaya ala moyabe tembeda jumalto utumo musolefana muba mfokele mu. Utumo suwa kutale italo nafo musole mfokia wale mkati ya bulo handkofle, ya asimo bie handkof, ya natini ya dunitima. At that time, it was dark. You wouldn't be able to tell whether it was a, a, a male or female. But the person's hands were cuffed and their feet were shackled. You said the person's hands were cuffed. And the feet were shackled as well. And you did state that the purpose of putting him in the middle is to ensure that he does not run. At this point, how is a person whose hands and feet are bound, how would that person escape even if the person is seated close to the door? At the best way of security. No, that is the best way of security. So your role, in essence, with Buso was to ensure that he remains in that position, flanked by both of you, yes, and restrained in a way. And Yes. Tell us about your journey from the mile two prisons. Silam Birali Wulta Mile Two Kasola Ali Tato wo Allah Tato of Kenya Fonyabang. Kabirim Bota Mile Two. When we departed Mile Two at our range or two. On our way to the range. For the airport or the junction or When we got to the airport junction. At this stage, you already had a job to do. And your job was to ensure that this person was there. Please tell us about your journey. You were saying something about while you were going. While on our way to the range, we got to the airport junction. After 100 meters, after 100 meters, motor be All of the vehicles stopped. motor Our vehicle also stopped. Why did the vehicles have to stop? I saw that all of the vehicles were, 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 were stopped. 
When the vehicles stopped, when Nyabali ja wulta na shirombi mbe nyato, I saw Nyabali got up from the seat, the front seat. Atonta na imiro nyinga. He turned towards the inmate. I mbushota kango diki diki. He took a plastic bag and, and, and put it over the inmate's head and strangulated the inmate on the right side. At that time, I was by the right side. Buso was ten feet And Buso was this, on this side. So I'm going to push and pull something because we're going to cover him. So the inmate couldn't push and pull because the inmate's hands were cuffed. Single for a baby was sitting. And the inmate's legs too were shackled. At the point when you were driving. The inmate was in the middle. You could tell whether the inmate was male and female even if it were at night. Can you tell us if the inmate was male or female? Because the inmate could have been a male or female because at that moment I was traumatized. Can you tell us why you were traumatized? Mind you, at this point the inmate was seated in the middle and nothing has happened so far. You were going on this journey. The concept I heard was this, that we are on our way to kill an, a human being. So already, your state of mind was that you were going to kill a human being. Mm -hmm. Yes. You said you were in Nyabali's truck, right? Sorry, Michael. Michael This truck, was it a big one or a sizable one, small, normal truck? Pick up A sizable pickup. Is it a three passenger pickup? Pickup le menka mosaba samba mosaba samba. At the back, that is. Adi. Koma koma sira umoje le kasiye. Adi. Olem. Yes, that is it. At this point, you were closer. You and Buso were closer to the inmate than Nyabali, right? Yeah. Kotembo atel le katara kasolang kony na itenim Buso katambi Nyabali la wai robe nyatole. You also told us that Nyabali was seated in front. Yes. And like every other car, the front seat of the car was already there. How big was Nyabali? Nyabali dung a mo nyadi lenga awaratale mo ala alawaro kanya nta nyadi le. Atela fitandadi. He's uh, fitter than I am. At least some And he's more powerful than I am. At least jumper than that. He's taller than I am. So, by Gambian standard, that is, you can consider him as a big person. Uba kuniata ako Gambian kolo la baloni iloka kanya nyami mo sa muto ko mole men men kita mo 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 bati. Medium size le. The medium size. I see you as a medium-sized person. Uh, can you please stand up, please? By Gambian standard, I will call you a medium person. Or even a big person by my own standard. <laughs> I am medium, even my uniforms are medium size, but Nyabali is fitter. You may sit, please. Thank you. Fitter than I am. So, Nyabali uh -huh. will obviously qualify as a big person. But Nyabali is a big person. In between. Okay, he's in between. Middle Obviously bigger than you. Yeah. yeah, but I'm not big. 
Well, you will have to excuse me, but I will consider you big. Okay. Okay. Then he is big. You said the convoy stopped. Did, was there any form of com communication after the convoy stopped? Let me understand. What I understood from it was after the lead vehicle stopped, all other vehicles that we are following, all of them stood. I'm looking at your statement right now. I had previously given you your statement to look over before you signed it. Do you have, and you had confirmed that this was your statement? I'd also provided you with a copy of your statement. Can you look at the paragraph labeled five, number five? Kindly confirm that that is actually your statement. What is the truth? In your statement, I'm reading. Line eight, uh, abe seven, sorry, line seven of your statement. Can you please read line seven of your statement? After this mission, three of us, we are never called again for a mission. I can say we, we are totally... That is... Line seven. Yes. Yes. At first. That's page four. Page five. Page. page four, please. That's the paragraph label five. Number five. Okay. Did you see it? Lera na ninjango sapa. Lera woro borindi woro ulanjango. Page five. Olem lera lulu njango. Kaito kaiti lero. Page four. The paragraph label number five. Yeah. Okay. Under the heading execution of nine inmates. Yeah. One day, Major Rambo, judge call us. No. Wait. Now count seven from one day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But in the look, seven four roll and jump. That's the seventh sentence. Now, can you read from we drive up? Or please start from two of the prisoners. Yeah. Okay. Upon arrival at mile two, you mean? No. Two of the prisoners. Did you see that? Uh, two of the prisoners were in the vehicle. Mm -hmm. I was in with Nyabali, Michael, Korea, and the driver, Busho. And I, we drive up to the traffic light at Yundung. Nyabali was communicating with someone. After a while, he took a plastic bag and wrapped it over the head of the inmate seated beside me and strangled him to death. Remember, you told us that only one inmate was in your vehicle. Two, in, two inmates, one beside me, one beside Busu. Two inmates were in the vehicle. But earlier, you did mention only one. It's two inmates. So you're saying it's two inmates. Yes. So you had one on your side and Busso had the other on their on his side. Yes. And looking at this scenario here, what you explained about Nyabali leaning forward and struggling one inmate. Which one did he strangle? Is it the one close to you or the one close to Busso? He strangled the one close to me I, at the airport, Johnson.
Now, imagine when an individual is being strangled. You were in this vehicle. Can you please tell us how the inmate reacted to being strangled? No, because at that time the inmate could not uh, make a lot of movements because, because the inmate's hands were cuffed behind uh, the back and, and uh, the legs too were shackled. He turned a plastic bag. He took a plastic bag. He pressed. He pressed it. Sembola. With force. And in turn. And turn it. And and, and and snapped his neck. What were you doing while this was going on? I was looking at him in that struggle and then after he said to me, hold the person and the left and the inmate fell on me and I said to Nyabali, the inmate has fallen and he said to me, get hold of the inmate, why are you releasing, releasing the inmate? I held the inmate again and I saw that this one at this point is dead. I, I, I placed the inmate on my left shoulder because if I move, I see that the inmate falls. I sat close by. Remember, you told us that this at the back, the back seat, was meant for three passengers and you have four passengers at the back which makes the place even tighter mm -hmm. and this yes. person is being strangled sitting at close proximity with you when did Nyabali ask you to hold this person? Wati juma le Nyabali ko yini mo muta. Kabra ask tangul to death. Kabra kong muta fa death anim busola. When you the inmate was tangled to death. Kong kong death da mera kumata kak. After he slapped the inmate's uh, uh, neck until you can hear the cracking sound. And when the inmate when he released the inmate. Aboi ta nang. The inmate fell. Ngai Nyabali ko aboi ta le akunyi ko muta. I said to Nyabale, the inmate has fallen, and he said to me, uh, get, get hold of the inmate. So I, I took hold of the inmate and, uh, and seated him properly. But if I release, he, the inmate goes uh, head down. I came to hold the inmate at that time until we got to the range. Now, let's just take it step by step. I'll read from your statement. We drove up to the traffic light at Yundum. Nyabali was communicating with someone. And after a while, he took a plastic bag a plastic and wrapped it over the head of the inmate seated Beside me, I am a nylon boat or bula, Casola, member Sirimbala. I are commodity to fire offer. Remember, Nyabali was seated in front. Nyakilo Baka Nyabali was sitting in Yatole. And the car seat must have blocked him in a way. And the motor Sirangi, a better lie, Yatole, Yadu Yama. Nyabali being a huge guy, Nyabali do Yafanyam in Como Balemu. Or a big person for him to lean over and put a bag over the inmate's head in a moving vehicle would be nearly impossible without any help. You've been closer. To this one, can you please tell us what you did? When the inmate was being killed, the vehicle was not in motion. The vehicles were, were all standing at traffic light. By the Yundum traffic light. Then a space between the driver and the 
the front seat. You know, there is always a space between the driver and the front seat. Nyabali space should hold a ton tana. That was where Nyabali had space to a turn. A strangle water. To strangulate this guy. To death. To death. From your statement, can you please show me where you mentioned that the convoy stopped or your vehicle stopped? Traffic light, you know. Look at the statement and show me where it stated that the vehicle stopped. The same paragraph I had referred you to, that is page 4 of paragraph 5. Okay, we drive after the traffic light at Yundum. Yeah, Nyabali was communicating with someone, and after the after a while, he took a plastic bag. By by this time, the vehicles, all the vehicles were stopped. Did you in fact put that in your statement? For your bula ndi ilakuma kama lukuno lebang. No mistake ole maybe, but kunu kabin kunu go kabin na wakacha kanga ngafa nanga yako mutole belo te yundumle. That was probably a mistake, but the day before yesterday, while we were discussing here, I didn't mention to you that the vehicles were all stopped. Because ngafa nanga yako mutole belo nje over twenty to thirty minutes mbolo ro udla kilungu te yeye. Because I told you that the vehicles were standing there for almost twenty to thirty minutes. Kutumo nyabali ba diam kama mado e. At that time, nyabali was speaking to someone else. After that long wait, I'm going to get another range order. It was after that that we left for the range. Mr. Sambo, yes, please. This looks like an afterthought. Remember, you were given an opportunity yes, to look through your statement and verify your statement, but there is nowhere in the statement it stated that the convoy stopped, and for that long. Additionally, remember some witnesses have already testified with respect to this issue. And none of them have stated that the convoy stopped at any point. And this is the the what I, can tell you, maybe, what, I, what I can tell you is that more than 20 to 30 minutes. What I can tell you is this that maybe those people have forgotten. I have, I have shown to the Quran and, and I will not tell lies. I told you even day before yesterday while we had a discussion. That the vehicle stops at the Yundum for almost 20 to 30 minutes. While I was reading, while, honestly, while I was reading my statement, you told me to do it quickly because there was no time. So I hurriedly glanced through it, and then you told me to sign, and I signed. But honestly, the vehicle stopped at Yundum. But prior to me even asking you to sign the statement, you had already provided this statement to the investigators. And you, were given, and you were given and you were given several opportunities by the investigators to go through your statement as well. So this particular fact it seemed as if you're introducing this fact in this story. When you, I met with you and here, I don't want to take much, Honestly, much time. It's an oversight. And I told uh, you, day before you know. yesterday, when we met, that the vehicle stopped at the Yundum. I will not sit here and tell lies. Now let's go back to the time the victim was being strangled. Did the victim just sit there and someone snuff the life out of him or her because you've not stated whether the person was male or female? 
fo ñi mari be siri ndiele ten de rong do ñi nata aya fa fa la wonya without resistance fo musulem fo kelong satara amari mam balang yitan dia mam 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 de nga melo mi benta bala what i know the one that was close to me fo musulem bam fo kita kita kelam i am unable to tell musulem ba fala musulem ni kelam ba fala kelam i am unable to tell whether the individual was male or female because if the person was male or female i would have said so the question is did the victim resist or did the victim just stay there and then was calm while he or she was being strangled because the individual did not resist but she was nothing for air inside the the plastic bag because the person's eyes and face were all covered Now at the time the plastic was being put over the victim's head. Did the victim just allow them to put the plastic nyabali to put the plastic over the head? Or did the victim resist while the plastic was being placed over the head? Fodun amma mantale ka balam mulum ke bribe nylon boto bula ka ngakumola man any resistance di i did not see any resistance well mr sambo yes please that to me will not be normal ah ndela jero to de wote ke no la kuti men se ke kuso ku ten ku ku ketaati someone seen someone that is about to kill them mo ye je je nyin je ko nyin kari preta mo falale and the person calmly allows it amari son son no nya do ron ka ten kun ka bo so what do you say about that be mo no fala wato mo la min ka bala melan ko yebulo mo han ko fi singo mo han ko bar yebulo han ko fi ni cha bole bu ka mo man no ye singo han ko e mo mo no piko bo bo detering sumo go nyin men ke no je e bala na mun dole the only person that can resist is the only person that is free but someone that had Uh, his or her hands cuffed and legs shackled how could such a person resist you've already told us yenim fo nyen fo ka pare that there were four of you at the back almonani lebe moto nyin kono koma and the person that was killed was the one closest to you and we ye mem fa wo nya wala be nakiri ngete bala why are you avoiding stating that you had help in one way or the other while the plastic bag was being placed on the head and while the person was being strangled say muna na be balanka nyin na pour ka foko il fa na yam ay ma koy ro kele pour ka nyim mari fa kabri be boto bula la kungola fo wato me ba kango detela amari be tenkundi wala nyama mam mam mang amang kuke adu itele be nakiri nga bala mam participate wato de kabra kango dete fo a no ndak sa fatale a bula dam da kango tata na boita nga muta nga ko nga ko nga ko hat ko nyabali nga ko nyim boita la ko nyuka muta So I, did, muta, I, did not, I did not participate when his neck was when he was strangled and until his neck was uh, snapped and he was released by Nyabali the inmate fell on me and that was when I said to him that the inmate has fallen and he always said to me get hold of them of him well Over. to me it's quite impossible a katila jero de mukku ke balolti for the victim to just sit there bruni mari etu sirin ka tenkun tenkun na wonya while the eyes were open anyalu be yelerin somebody is about to place a plastic bag Moye, over the head moyena anin nylon boto and the person calmly allows it amari tenkun wonya ka song pour yo boto bula ko ngola the person is being strangled wo ko la fanay ba ka ngode te kam pour ka and the person sits there calmly without resistance amari tenkun tenkun na jiya ma hani mam mang Do you want us to believe that? Tumalo ibe ilaftale nga songo la bang. Abra bulo kofun nga koma. When the person's hands were cuffed behind. I think about tied, I think about lock locking came out lock and the, the legs were also shackled. Ndo be ba sitting abala because I detale. We were all sitting close to uh, the person because it was tied. Uh, uh, the inmate uh, looked down put more already plastic over back motor at that time the plastic bag was already over abin kanana kabim mal tudde ki plastic o dunda ko to the plastic in fact was over the the, the inmates head from my no moto nyin ko no we were inside the vehicle put more nyabal na ta stangul to death that was when nyabal strangled the inmate to death so you remember you told us that you knew already 
These people were going to be killed. Of course. And you already had that mindset that you were going to participate in it. Adi. Yes. And the plastic, what, wait, when did they put the plastic over their head? Was it when they entered the car or before? Ako ye plastico, Walemo, Nylon Boto, Yabulani Marie Kumula to Majumali. Then Yabula Motocono, and Fabula Cabula Motocono, Utomo Plastico Babu, Aka Moto, Adundi Motocono, the Citabola, I do the Temba from Buso Citobola. That was when they were brought into the vehicle, the plastic bags were already over the individual's head. Already you knew what the plastic bag was supposed to be for, and you knew how they were supposed to be killed. Ite fanga yalone o nylon boto lu dalilo momenti andu yalone ko nyimu moleti kata menu fa hadi yes i'll just leave it at that now babu la laje o tembo okay let me just go back to this point ngamuru nyi ndinkira do kan when the plastic bag was placed over the head properly since it was already hung up there ako eh nelon boto boto ni ya bula ak mola wati juma le ka sin ka saba fa and the was being strangled and in wato me ba kango de kam pour ka fa did the victim resist at all fo amario mahani mam man din ke fan ka balando man di mo fo mam 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 man ya min ke ay mam mam min ke wolo ni di ka bla be ni ji kan moto ko la ba mm mm wolo wolo moy moto ko i did not see any mam mam no ten am any action ke no ten I didn't know That's the only thing. So, I only saw the individual uh, struggling for breath. We that. have received similar so. evidence of how another victim was killed in another car. And that was the car that Omar Oya Jalo. And Amadou Baju were in. And you said all the victims were restrained the same way. And you said testified that both him and Oya had to restrain the victim. Because the victim was fidgeting a lot. And mind you, the victim was restrained the same way as yours was in your vehicle. I can only talk about the things that I saw in the vehicle that I was in and not what happened in the other vehicles where I was not in. You just trying to extricate yourself from this particular incident. If I left the farm, jam from the la faro la le kafo, I ma beta ni mari la faro le. No, I left from farm jam from the mbigele. I was part of them. No, I am not trying to extricate myself from it. From it, I was there. I was part of them. It happened in my presence. Kabeni ya stangul fo alone sa faro le. Akonyo ka muta mfana muta mi sim participate le. I was part of them. It is was was after when this guy strangled strangled the 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 inmate until the person died. Mbigele, one hundred percent. Hold the, the inmate, and I participated, so I was there all the time. In essence, you're trying to minimize your own participation in the manner in which this particular victim was killed. To God, I'm telling you what I know. Let's move on to. What happened after this victim was strangled? During Alio Mari Fafuka Pare Munanataki. Mutobe Bore convoy departed to the range. The convoy departed to the range. For the range, you We got to the range. Nyabali again. Nyabali again. In Meta Mimbabala. Munababala. In Meta Mimba Busobala. The inmate that was seated beside uh, Buso. Upon the plastic bag of Mbak Kumoto. That one also, the plastic bag that was over the, that inmate's head. 
I will further press. You also press that one. So we must have a bus. We cannot show a bunda in busa. That is that was when he was telling Buso, do not allow the inmate to to hit the door. Buso was bunda bala. Buso was by the door. So Buso push and pull in the middle of Because of the push and pull, which he was trying to avoid, I strangled to death. He strangled him to death. Well, this time around, even with the tight space, there was push and pull. No, there is no push and pull. Because the place is so tied up. Push and pull, Mandraji. I did not say push and pull first. You said it and I repeated it, remember? I remember that push and pull for the people who are in the world. They are not in the world. Uh, because Kabria account did it. Yes, because when the inmate's neck was being strangled, Buso was a little bit far away from him. So was a because That was when Nyabali said to Buso, do not be far away from the inmate because the press. way you are you are drawing away from the inmate, you may knock the door. This is a three passenger vehicle. Four. We back four, seat, we three. Four in number four. Back seat was three. Only three people could sit, are authorized legally to sit yeah. at the back. Yeah. And uh, you guys were four. Yeah. Two victims. Yes. You on one side. Buso uh, was on the other side. Yes. And already tight room for poor, poor people. Yes. So how can Buso be far away from this particular victim when the victim is being strangled. What I observed from it was that he was not prepared to take responsibility. Sorry, I'm a bit confused here. Was Buso or you not willing to take responsibility? Who was not willing to take responsibility at this point? first time for mumpare responsibility and I don't want to participate. Individually in the beginning, I was I don't want to participate. prepared to take responsibility. I did not want to participate. Yeah. But you've told us that you did. Yes. In my mind, I was not prepared to participate, but I participated eventually. Mm -hmm. Well, you're contradicting yourself a bit here. There is one thing that goes on in your mind. And the reality itself. Mm -hmm. The place was quite tight. You participated on your own, own side. And Buso also assisted on his own side when it was happening. Yes. So you both assisted when these two victims were being strangled. Yes, that's true. Good. So tell us what happened when you got to the range. We stopped there. We saw other people. For sure, But it was uh, in the night. We saw them being put on the ground. They were there with their victims. They were strangling them to death. They were strangling them to death. But I cannot say who they were. I could not recognize them because it was dark. But because because we were I could not recognize them because it was dark. I, the, I opened the door of the pickup. Sorry? I was seated sideways inside Man, the pickup. Manji. I did not uh, get down. Until the executions were done. After the executions were done. After the money. After later on. Nata General Baji Natana. I saw General Baji coming. Any model be a civil dress. And other people who were in civilian clothes. But I could not recognize them because of the darkness. And I did not also uh, climb out of the car. The only person that I could recognize at that time was General Baji. I saw another civilian. He had papers. He came and opened the door to the pickup. I climbed down. He touched the inmates. I confirm. To confirm if they were dead or not. I saw that uh, quickly 
Atata moto dol kono. He went into the other vehicles. Atata duma mil bije. He went down to those that were there. Ngo la kalamda adi range. That was what I could observe at the range. Can you tell us who this civilian was that was confirming to check whether the victims were dead? Ni civilian o men na ta purka juve funi molu fatale jumalem. Ama malo ma civilian o long. I do not know who the civilian was. Can you describe the person? Isa mari danya funi nyelebang. It was dark that time. But to me, he, he, he appears to be a tall person. After it was confirmed that all the victims were dead, was there any discussions among you? Uh, if I do not forget, uh, I think they was at the range. Oh, a victim or a body damage? Are you asking at the range or where the victims were being buried? Ni mani langa for last minute kono solo solo was briefing men. If I don't forget, at the last minute, uh, the solo was briefing the men. Ba ita ni mo lako to show people that mo kana deu. Let no one panic. Execution on yindi. Uh, this is an execution. State execution on And it is a state ex execution. We have nothing to explain. And there, there was nothing that we could explain. We have nothing to say. We have nothing to say. And he also made it known to us that this was uh, a state sanctioned activity. Yes. What happened to the remains of the victims? <laughs> Those of us who were in our vehicle, in that on board, that on board, board motorcono, they came and boarded the vehicle. Mumu ele fure ni le motorcono. Each one of us would take uh, your corpses and put them in your vehicle. Solo bojang lead, solo bojang lead. Mubula tano ma. And we followed him. Mto mina kwa silo kona, mina kwa silo kwa. As we were coming along the way. Before you move further. Can you be ten ten nyar? Lamin Sambu, Lamin Baji testified Lamin Baji said they are okay. That Solo Bojang after the execution Solo Bojang bring a faro ketafakapare was going round the bodies. Abe Murumurum Kakao Freology Bay. And it seemed her as if he was chanting incantations. Amunta Wotumo Abe Kule Kekan Kafenukam Amunta Bekaram Mulumulela. What do you know about that? Fue Fellow Motelaba. It could have been, but I was not aware. Can you move on to when you were being led by Solo with the bodies? Saying ten ten Solo eko tambita alubulata no ma utuma ningfure ulu nyele bitaka. Utuma bitaka it was after twelve to one Solo. As we were the time we were going, it was between twelve and one. Solo ko mol dundi nyama ko na ko mol finta ni nyama ko ko mol dundi. Solo was taking us inside the bushes and outside of the bushes. Inside and outside of the bushes. I cannot even tell myself where these bushes are. He went and stopped at a particular place. And he was speaking with one old man. I did not come to see that old man again. Solo went and stood inside the grasses. For a while. And then he said that they should bring down the corpses. The corpses were brought down. I, myself and Buso, we brought down our corpses. We took them up to where Solo was standing. I came back to the vehicle. My mind could not absorb what was happening. I vomited. I was standing behind the vehicle and I vomited. I returned back and I stood by the vehicle. Because where Solo was standing inside the grasses, I believe that there was an old well there. But I believe he did not want us to know that there was a well. Because I did not see any digging, signs of digging there. So we took our corpses and we placed them there. So as I was coming back to the vehicle, I had a shock. I went behind and I was vomiting. Yes. 
What did you do with the dead bodies then? We left Solo in the bushes there where he was standing. There were some soldiers. And, by, by him. Loko, and I believe that. So, uh, dead bodies here, be able to come, uh, come, come. That all these dead bodies were put inside of that well. Yes. Did you assist in any way while the dead bodies were being taken to the car and into the well? Yes, I assisted to, to bring the corpses from the vehicle to take them where Solo was standing. It was after that that I returned back to my vehicle and I was vomiting. This place where Solo Bojang led you. Can you recall the name of the place, or can you tell us if this place was even in the Gambia? Since I know myself, I have never gotten into such bush. Statement you said somewhere in Fonyi. Another fifty Fonyi Shilulka. Yes, we, we, we came out through the phony way. We came through the bushes and through, through phony highway. You mentioned that Solo Bojang was assuring you people that this was an execution endorsed by the state. Solo Bojang Bali, Sondo Molo Tenkundikanunko. At what point was he briefing you on this? After execution. This was after the execution. These people were taken out of mile two in the middle of the night. Yes, you were given marks to wear when you were going to my two prisons. What? You must call it the Allah, but I'll be talking mile two. The manner Mr. in which they were executed was quite horrific. That is true. Did you believe Solo when he said that? Did you believe Solo when he said that? It surprised me because I, I, I heard that the justice minister was there. The minister of interior, DJ. I also saw the minister of the interior. Not DJ prison, DJ. I also saw the director general of the prisons. General Baji, DJ. I saw General Baji there. So, kapu kominko is not legal. Wo sign of antefan bolo na fang. So to say that the uh, executions were not legal, I'm only getting to know that now. After 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 that, that 2013 for B. From that, 2013 for B. From 2013 up till date. Sana ng alam ko mga tuyo illegal execution ng mga kita illegal. Sana ng kaming kamo yon nako illegal. Sana ng alam ko mga illegal. It is now that I have been hearing it here that was, I got to know that in fact that execution was not legal. I think for the following day lang bang or the two days later, yung kamo yipar kamara ba announce kan GRTS. Kaming kamo yipar announce kan GRTS. Uncomfortable, then then it's a legal mission. I think it was a day or two after after the executions that I heard uh, the announcement be made over GRTS by Fatu Kamara. That was when I began to calm down and said, well, if it is being announced now, then perhaps it is legal, as it was said. In that announcement, it was reported that the inmates died by firing squad. And you knowing fully well that they were suffocated to death. Did you still believe that that execution was lawful? statement <laughs> Well, because it may, it may, it may boom. He is suffocated to death. Le. So near, come on, him falling on yama. We may look on the mirror. But me, can I enter all following? According to what I heard, except if they change the statement, 
if they said that they were shot, then that is not uh, uh, true. What did you, in fact, hear from Fatu Kamara's uh, yeah, announcement? Fatu Kamara lao kankula roko. Nina na haklo sabula na wale nyinde ko kai tani la kumi ko mulo soto na mili dua mili muta inyata fala le na inmates yola samba fire squad ye fire ji haruko ye execute ji. What I heard was that there were some inmates that were convicted and they had to be killed and those were the ones that were taken to the range and shot by a fire squad. After this mission. After this mission, were you remunerated in any way? Were you given a form of a compensation? For I remember what I can remember was this that uh, there was a time. Lieutenant Sane Mustafa. Uh, when Lieutenant Mustafa Sane, I go to a almost five thousand dollars, lah. He said that uh, the big man said that he had uh, spare dashed us each five thousand dollars. So Momo it to sign that each one of us should sign and list our names. What was the five thousand meant for? Well, Willie Lulu, yeah, the Munakama. I didn't mean come along. Well, I do not know the reason for which that uh, five thousand was given for. You mentioned the big man. Who were you referring to as the big man? Former president. Yaya Jame. Yaya Jame. Would you say the 5,000 was a reward for the execution, the unlawful execution you participated in? First that day, what Mustafa said there was this. Okay, uh, former president go have a every month five thousand dollars is That the former president said that he would spare us five thousand dollars each okay. month. Get a senior killing. But it happened once. To senior fula. Yes, and it happened for the second time also. Senior sabanya. But for the third time. Suleiman Baji, General Baji, I'm more commandy. Suleiman uh, Baji, General Baji, called us. Oh, yeah, Jame Kuru Dialale. And said that Yah Jame gave him some money. Kuru Kala Murokono. And that he had put the money inside his vehicle. But Kuru Ni Yemanta Murokono. But that the money disappeared inside the vehicle. Ah, for Jere Vavali, Multa de la Hajul. He said that Vavali and every one of us and all of us dispersed. Did you believe him when he said that? I do not believe it. I do not believe it. Apart from this unlawful execution or unlawful killing you participated in, did you participate in any other activities of the junglers? What do you do? Yes, there was a time. I went to my village. It was on Saturday. It was on a Saturday. Nyabali called. Nyabali called me. Akonye ko mission wa Kombo. He said to me there was a mission in Kombo. Tanje. In Tanje. That niente nala le because some bit a mission nala. That I should return back because the next day we were going for a mission. Nada on Sunday. I returned back on Sunday. Jani mi na Sunday. Before I came back on the Sunday. Because ni mo ni e kumani mission ni ko mission nala. Because these people once they call you and they tell you that there is a mission. He ya faro follow kema. You are always terrified. Man comfortable wala? I was not comfortable. Following day, first thing in the morning. So the following day, first thing in the morning. Uh, you said. Iko. And I repeat in Mandinka. Mbesai la kama Mandinka kwa. Ni mo ni ekili. When these people these call people, you. These people, when they call you. Kijafaro leke muta. You get terrified. Why kijafaro? Why do you get terrified? Kwenye 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 kwen I'm also afraid of it. All that I'm in the group. But what do from being near command the phone thing? Even if I walk on the telephone, sometimes I can't get the phone. Because sometimes, even if they call me to collect this money, I used to perform ablution before going. For Allah's sake, Tanka, maybe cut off all the gates so that God can prevent me from any mishaps. You knew at this point that any mission 
that they may call you for may possibly and likely be killing yes ko mo fa ike command wala to nyalem estro on this day nyilungula they called you ye command and you went as well etata wolum fana not knowing what the mission is allo to moy malong albita munela but having at the back of your mind that it is likely to kill somebody aseke ko ngata mo fal ha ngobe ngobe mirale yes so what happened of all of that yes i mo ko la munena dake apul mbodje so when i left the following day someone the the following day in the morning ndara ndara eh tanje i went to tanje it one sang with one sang do la be duty sa je that very day we are on duties on that day but at bandale but it's now late can you please give us the last name of this song 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 pasal ngo fonyi akontong mo muneti abandala bandale is late ah his last name ari akontong abandala nga wala bara akontong dum sam mendi o sam korea i don't know sam mendi o korea i don't know i'll leave it at that can you please go on mbo waldo so we were there no no one at ye ularo no one came in there in the evening akonjo ko prepare he said to me prepare yela bagasol pak prepare your materials ikata mission la you are going on a mission afana ko mala mission nyaad lem but he did not say what mission it was what materials was he asking you to prepare akoye mun joran nu le parendi nu kana ni na tabalon la aha akonjo ko prepare yete le logeji sol pak he said to me prepare pack your luggages former president katamale the former president is traveling because we don't ya mere coming ko akata fu jine bi sawale at that time I think he was going to Guinea Bissau because it was two days traveling because it was a two day traveling nga na bagasol park i packed my luggages report to state house i reported at the state house that a commander ya i went to the commander a briefing ki je i had a briefing that the malafi mission of moa long coming ko ke baka dadame to former president ka dadame to because they did not want anybody to know where the former president was going to so commander ramol brief so the commander briefed us par kay tan mul ko akata saudi le he told us that you were going to saudi du mo ndefana lon comme ko mission nyimba saudi le that was when i came to know that the mission was in saudi ni ngam prepare wolto so i got prepared there mo do fana nata di other people nata na so other people came in be jonte wolto we were all there we drove to senegal we drove to senegal that's why we find ourselves in saudi what was the purpose of your visit to saudi or Alta, mission to saudi altata mo nela saudi utumo ke ba ya jame ka tan umra la that time ya jame was going for the umra and the umra mission obviously it didn't involve any killing allah umra silo de mo fa manke wodo ani mo fa manke wodo no there was no killing <laughs> So the umra mission in essence was for cleansing. Al dara fan sene ando la umra silo. No. I'm no. good. No, it was not that. Well, Mr. Sambo, thank you very much for answering all of my questions. Numbara yen nañu ni karolu jabi. This is the end of questioning from me. Nse la nyini karo be banna jande. I'll now shift it to the chairman and the commissioners saembe ko sawundi la chairman nin commissioner lu bulu sorry mr chairman is like the witness wants to say something uh chairman haketo abe ko sedo lafta fenne fola no later last minute i spoke to you about my issue yes um mr chairman the witness has had informed me that um the father and the stepmother were part of the ones that were victims of a witch hunt and he would like to have a platform to also talk about that i don't know if this is the perfect time of for this or uh, uh, mr chair i have been informed about that too and i think the neatest thing to do would be to call the uh, this person uh, this witness as a witness later again uh, to deal with the witch hunting exercise so in order to avoid uh, you know mixing things up we would call him again and uh, and ensures that he testifies about that so on that note i'll encourage you to write a full statement and deliver it uh, to the investigators uh, no. such that at the appropriate time uh, 
uh, we would call you as a witness and give you the opportunity to state everything that the, you have to state. He already wrote a statement. The father already wrote a statement, whatever has happened. Yes, but, but equally, you can also write a statement about it if you are affected by, by what has happened or if you have information about what has happened. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Council. The Gambia is going through hell. The Gambia is going through hell that these revelations and uh, admissions that we've had these past few days is beyond shocking for any society. To have um, uh, agents of the state coming out here, find you telling the truth, that's exactly what we want. Truth about gruesome murders by the state. Today alone, we had 14 murders. This is all on top of um, uh, what you and your colleagues have been telling us, the junglers, since some of these started them are coming here. To have you here, or to have us um, here from you and from other junglers, that uh, senior officers of the state, ministers, other senior um, people, being present at the execution of um, prisoners? It's almost like um, uh, having the Nazi high command getting to the gas chambers in occupied areas or the death camps, looking at um, uh, uh, prisoners um, who have been killed, being gassed, uh, burned them um, to death. I mean, burned them, um, their bodies being uh, cremated. Amunta Durong Naziolu, Walem Hitler Nala Kafunyolu, Yemenkan Durong Kamulu Muta, K Sambaka Edundi Bulu Kolomeni Alonko, Furo Lemuti, Hadamadimo Luke, Jani Furo Konoke Kamburu, Jani Yaming. Amunta o kufa songo lumenu keta nungo tumo a nyingkwa nungo le lafta muliala. They had their junglers. Wolfanale ila jungla lusodole. They called them the uh, Einstein's um, Gropen. Ie uh, ke kumandu tome na jaman ka mtu wanya ayo, ya chiamani wale ponya. The, in Darfur, you had the same kind of junglers in the Janja weed, going around slaughtering people. Darfur fanang, and to hear that in the Gambia, junglers are going around, murdering people, getting people out of um, prisons at night and slaughtering them. Gambia Jamfanang, well, and we have not heard the end of it yet. I guess um, we're going to have more junglers some are coming, more murders some are being um, uh, told um, to the Gambian people. And Gambia is going through hell. Uh, I have no idea what question I can ask you or your other um, colleagues. Commissioners, if you have any questions, yeah. please um, uh, go ahead. From the left, um, this time around, I'll start. None. And from the right, uh, yes, please. Um, uh, Commissioner Kinte, you have the floor. Commissioner Kinte, la kana yinin karola. Lamin Sambu. Kinte ko Lamin Sambu. Frankly, uh, I was a bit puzzled. Akoto nyanja kaltan. 
Of course, there are contradictions uh, from um, other witnesses. Each two persons among you in the back seat sandwiched one, 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 one victim. Um, nonetheless, even if they were too fine, the puzzle is uh, someone who is handcuffed from behind, and the, the feet uh, circle would have to be helped into a sitting position in a pickup. And uh, indeed, if you were two in number, um, sandwiching two victims, um, even if they had a uh, um, a mask or something, some nylon over their head. The, the contact is not the same between you and your next partner, the first victim around you. first victim around you. And then how do you stand up to the first victim around you? And then how do you stand up to the first victim around you? From other testimonies, someone had to come down to help Oya and the other guy to make sure they succeed in cooling this guy down to death. And three people for that individual. Now, you are, t you are impressing us about the... the, the Yes, uh, I have to step in here uh, to assist Commissioner Kinte. Yeah. Uh, the same question you are formulating yes. has been asked by counsel. Okay. And if I remember the answer that the witness gave was that, yes, indeed, we assisted in the execution of these people. If that is established, so I would rather we don't unravel. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm fine if that is established. Thank if that is on record, thank you. That he has thank admitted he participated thank in thank supporting, you. helping thank the guy. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you very much. Um, Commissioner Ka, you have the floor, please. Commissioner Ka, can I in Karo? Thank you, Chairman. My first question is: You said you were taken to Umrah. Were you the only jungler in that in that trip? Iko yeh samba Umrah la. Ite doron njongla timenta to Umrah toval. Depo kamfamu kumingu jungler lemeti. Jungler toomba accept. Are you not? 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 Are the name was Patrol Team. I personally have never known what a jungler is. Umrani, alala nsambaje, nde mampan sambaje, and nobody selected me. It's only God. This Umrah, God took me there. I did not take myself there. Nobody selected me except God. Ngami nkala mutaje nde malem because misono nyimpa imamere komi ngo Saudi le ni ada Saudi le ndung donenjira nu. What I experienced there is only I can. It's only me that knows it. In fact, this mission, if they had known that it's Saudi, I wouldn't have gone. It was they are taught that the, two days. They are told that this mission was going to be in Bissau and for only two days. I mean that the commander of office would more briefing that the president is going to Saudi for Umrah. It was when we got to the commander's office and had our briefings that we got to know that in fact the president was going to Saudi. From the office direct to, uh, to to Senegal. No, thank you, thank you. Uh, Bishop, you have the floor, please. Bishop um, Odiko, wala kana nyini nkarola. Thank you, Chairman. Kwe numbara, Chairman. The person who examined the dead bodies Meye nyimfure ulujube Um, was he a medical person? Amari mujata kende ya bunda dokula leti bang? Hani molo? No, I do not know that. You narrated that you both you and Buso carried your dead bodies to the burial place. Atele fureulu samba dinkirato itate ibade dami. 
How did you carry Ale, the, the dead body? Ale nyi mfre ulu samba nyadile. Do a bulo muta ndenga singo muta. He held the hands and I held the feet. Ma samba fo solo bolo solo bolo renda meto ngalandi ye. We, we took them until we are solo was standing. So we, we placed them there. And I returned back to the vehicle. That was when I had this shock and I went behind the vehicle and started to vomit. Did you take them both together or did you take them one after the other? One after the other. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Bojang. You have the floor. Commissioner Bojang, welcome to Nininka. Mr. Sabu. Yes, ma'am. It's an additional question to Mr. Odiko. Mm -hmm. you, said, you said Buso helped you to carry your cough. Eko Buso le mako e kao fre osamba. Who helped Buso to carry his cough? Yumale Buso mako e kao fre fula nyo osamba. Because according to you, you said Buso helped you up to where Solo is. You Buso le mako e alimo fulo le denta alio fre osamba for Solo belo rinda me. You placed the cough there. Alio fre olandi je. You came back to the vehicle. You moved on a motor. But you did not mention that you helped Buso to help to took his cough to where Solo was. But in mang afo Buso la fre oning puru ka osamba kata osamba Solo be dami. Now who helped Buso to carry his? You may have been so dear, Mark. How free was I? I'm coming for you. Maybe I'm understand. How free me mental motor control? Long as I'm angry, you solve the damage. What I have seen, and maybe she does not understand. I said the corpses that we are in our vehicle, we took them and placed them where Solo was standing. Muskeva came in in Kaulem. Aliye kilin kilin samba le falie free fullo be la nyoka neke samba. Aliye kilin kilin samba. We took them one at a time. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sambo. You have any? Concluding uh, words to make your remarks. Please go ahead. Ni fana yako masoto ibe memfala. Ante ba ala tendula. I want to thank God. Oh, for me and she being your lunkanaka testify. Who has enabled me to be present this day to testify? Inku ya ulmi kera ni bangunga ngami kalamuda. These heinous things that have happened in this country, the things that I am aware of. Because lua wala lua lansembo haruko. Oda wala dita na pruni manya ike. Because all these things were done based on the orders that we were given. And the order from the Danya Pungana testify, Jang. And it's, it's also based on order, that is why I'm here testifying. So, order Kirun and Dambanolo or Adela? So, it's the same order which I cannot uh, 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 deny. So, Mba Commissioner Betan to Lembe Jela? So, I want to thank all the, whole, the entire commission. Mimbe happened, Jang. All these things happened here. Mimbe for the Jang. All these things have been said here. It's not our wish. It is not our wish. It's not our intention. Because since I know myself up to now, being in the service up to this day, nobody can say that this is what Sambu has done to me. I have never had any problems with anybody. Even today as I am testifying here, so many people are perplexed about my case. Because I am not a wicked person. I am not also a bad person. I have not troubled anybody. I have never reported anyone to the authorities to say that this is what so and so has done. I have never tortured anyone except these incidents that I have found myself in. I just saw myself in these incidents and also I saw people in there and I thought that the things that were happening were in line with the law. I never knew that these things were not lawful until this TRRC started proceedings. I want to thank uh, the families of the victims for the patient you mentioned for the patience that they have shown so far because these heinous things have happened to their and relatives and they never knew that this was how it happened so I am praying and indulging their forgiveness it is not our wish regret in my life this is something that I will ever regret in my life since that execution was started since the start of those executions you can ask Buso Obaji. 
Since that day, I'm on the and Thursday, so I start. For Allah, say I'm for Monday, say I'm for Friday, Muna. Up to date, I'm going to Monday and Thursday, for I'm for you. Since I regret in my life. Since the executions, I started fasting Monday and Thursday up to date. From from from, I'm going to take a minute from Monday and in Thursday. Until even my colleagues would ask me, why do you keep fasting from on Mondays and Thursdays? Even from the world, be able to. In fact, today is when the entire world is knowing the reason. Because Allah doesn't want to be kicked out. I am praying to God so that that which has happened, that that I will not be able to uh, be put into these things again. Because no solution, any solution here no can stop. Because I do not see any solution to stop it. Which is why I am praying to the Almighty, uh, fasting Mondays and Thursdays. Since that day, for be. Since that day up to today. For one year, four months. Even at the time when I was under detention for one year, four months, one, one, almost two to three years, Mosunga, this Monday and Thursdays. I have been fasting for almost three years, Monday and Thursday. And even in my workplace, my so colleagues have testified that I regret that. These things that have happened, I regret them. Because after the death row, I personally went up to Buso. I went up to his house. I said to him, Buso, I am going to resign. He said to me, why? I said to him, if we do not leave this place, these people are going to put us into so more trouble. Buso said to me, if you should resign now, your life will be at risk. I continued because I had no solution. Not again this Monday and Thursday, so start. Then I started fasting on the moon on Mondays since, and Thursdays. Since 2013. Since 2013 to 2014. Or B. Up to the date. I am fasting Mondays and Thursdays. Allah alone. God knows. Gambia in the Gambia, many people know, many of because my colleagues know that. Because something happened which I got myself Because something happened which I got myself involved in, which I never believed that I could be a part of. But a human being cannot deny the destiny that God has set for him or her. Because I never thought that I would ever get into this kind of group. So this is my statement. Let people forgive. Uh, let people not think that this is just our will. In fact, these things, we are the people who condemn it the most. But we, have, we couldn't do anything about it. It happened to me, my father and my mother. They took them to Kanilai. They forced them to drink a concoction. My father was in coma for 48 hours. My coma for 48 hours. He could not speak. The same thing happened to my mother. The same thing happened to my mother. Solo Ngaiko, Solo, why this? I spoke to Solo and I said to Solo, why this? I cried over the telephone. Solo said it was an order that was given to him. And there was nothing I could do about it. My father is still experiencing that problem. A private problem on the hand behind some academic plan. That is his private private problem, but up till date he's still going to the hospital. And two months back, more than a borrow from us, be a hospital. Most of the young men do not have much local borrow key immediately. Even two months back, I went to the Biam hospital to try to get some medicines for him, but I could not get them. But I called my brother to get some 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 medicines for him. Because now we are going to get some medicines. Because when he experiences these attacks, he used to lose his breath, and so he used to be helped to. So hand behind some old pipe or cut a bottle. So even up to today, he's still breathing through that pipe. So system or anything, I'm finding me system or anything. So this system that we found ourselves in. Don't want to know what's on the other side of the hearing. We are junior officers. We would not be able to tell what is it. They use for nothing. They use us for nothing. Was being a given to be at least a phone. Yeah, yeah. Ni arsa interest le biye biye da fensi le bar bi for bi. Motor phone don't most about motor phone about on quarter phone or a bungalow je nothing. Because today. If what we were doing was based on interest, then at least today, one, each one of us should have had a house or something. But none of us, the three of us, can, can boast of having anything from it. So I thank God and I glorify God. I thank you people too. That you are trying to remove Gambia from this bad chapter and to... to that's the end of my statement and I thank you all.
Well, tomorrow is some uh, Thursday. And uh, you add on to your prayers and the fasting. That never again should these things happen. It's not just prayers, it's some um, devotion also. All um, of us um, um, make sure that um, uh, these things don't happen again. Thank you for your testimony. And, uh, we will meet again tomorrow at uh, 10 o'clock. Meeting is adjourned. Are we meeting? Yes, we are. Hey, <laughs> Kakuma ko ilong ila kuoto alte la website oto www.baluo.com wala aliela apo download Baramanda nyinda mal anim baluo alse mano sanno sukuro tulo anim fenjama jama baluo wala efisia ka kodoki